Tim Panasic with Gibbons Motor Toys. Today we have a brand new, fresh 2024 Kingfisher 2625 CXP, which stands for uh, Coastal Express Series. We've got uh, videos in the past that go through the differences between the Kingfisher 22 to 28 foot uh, mid-coastal uh, hull. And uh, maybe just as a refresher, we'll just maybe just summarize that real quickly again. So just so that everybody's familiar, the uh, 22 and the 23 foot are basically the same hull. The difference when you go to the CXP versus the Experience series is gonna be your windshield primarily and the uh, closed bow. So you're gonna have the pilot house design with the forward facing windshield with a drop bow on the CXP series boat. With the Experience boat, you're gonna have the sloped back windshield with a drop bow. As far as, to make sure there's no confusion, as an example, the Kingfisher 22 and 23 foot boats are virtually the same hull, and they're actually very much the same length. The difference is in how they're measured. The CXP version gets married from the bow to the back of the engine pod, versus the Experience models are measured from the bow to the back of the transom. So that's where the difference is in terms of the designation on the boat, but the hulls are virtually the same. So this 2625 that we're looking at is virtually the same hull as a 2425 experience. The 2825 Coastal Express, there is no experience model of the 28 foot. And as we're showing you this 2625, Please keep in mind that it's virtually the same boat as a 2825, other than the 2825 is two feet longer and that space is in the aft deck. Other than that, the boats are virtually identical. So by showing you the 2625, you're really looking at the 2825 as well, just two foot uh, shorter. And uh, keep in mind that the horsepower rating on the 2625 is a maximum of 300 horsepower versus the 28 is a maximum of 400 horsepower. While we're standing here, we can show you this uh, easy loader trailer as well. This is a 7,500 pound trailer. It's uh, also got the upgraded Hydrostar brakes. So if you look at the Hydrostar brake system here, th that is the brake best brake system you're gonna be able to purchase. And the reason for that is, is that you do have disc brakes, which are a better braking system, easier to maintain, better braking performance, and of course, with the uh, Hydrostar system, you get to uh, control that from your electronic brake controller in the vehicle. So looking down the side of the 2625, you can see the stainless steel bow rails that it comes with. It's got the optional Haas rings, so that makes it uh, better for uh, tying up to a dock for running your, uh, your uh, tie-down tie lines through there. As far as the side of the hull, you've got the heavy duty rub rail, which is an option that's been added here. As with every Kingfisher hull, this has got the full reverse chine hull right from the bow to the stern. And you can see how distinctive that reverse chine is. The advantage to that is, is that combined with the lifting strikes, that's gonna get the boat on step quicker. It's gonna stay on step at lower speeds. It's gonna give you more stability when the boat's uh, still in the water as well. So those are all advantages to those features, which is uh, prominent on every Kingfisher hull. As we go down the side of the hull, you can see the heavy duty cleats that are on the Coastal Express boats. As we look to the transom, this is something that's uh, brand new for 2024. And this is a, a running change that just came out. So this has now got what we call the offshore uh, transom. So basically what it is, is it's a design that comes from the offshore boat. And as you can see, as you move around here, we've got this configured with the main engine. We put the 25 horse kicker on here. So you can see how all that bolts and fits onto that transom. If one was to put twin engines on here, then we can have a kicker bracket on the side and the twin engines on the transom, just like you see it there. Speaking of engines, this has got the uh, Mercury 250 horse. The other change to this is that typically in the past, we would have a 25 inch leg. This is now a 30 inch leg. So with this offshore, transom on the CXP boat, we're now going to a 30 inch when you do a single. 
So we've elected to do the 250 with a 25 horse kicker. This is gonna be a great combination for most people. This 25 horsepower is a new engine from Mercury. It's designed as a pro kicker for a trolling motor. You can see the large four bladed prop that it comes with. So it's basically just a, a larger version of the 9.9 and the 15 that Mercury came out with a few years ago, now in a 25 horsepower with EFI. So it's just a sweet running engine. The reason that we do the 250 on here is for two reasons. Number one is, is that uh, maximum horsepower on here, as I stated earlier, is 300 horsepower. The difference in performance when you get to any V-bottomed hull that's primary design is to give you great performance in rough water. Uh, the difference in performance in terms of speed, when you go from a 250 to a 300, is very slight. We've got performance specs on all these different configurations that we've tested. So please feel free to look at our website, reach out to our sales team. They can share with you the specs and the difference in performance. We do find that a lot of customers feel that they need the maximum horsepower. And simply put, the difference is so slight that lots of times that money is better spent on electronics or something else. The other thing that's uh, to note there is that whether it's a 250 or a 300, in Mercury's world, that's the same V8 engine. So basically a 250 is just a little bit of a down-tuned version of the 300. But again, as far as cruise performance, fuel economy, and even top speed, you're gonna find that on a, a hull such as this, the difference is gonna be very, very minuscule. So that being said, we can move our way into the boat. This is an optional boarding ladder that King Fisher has. Makes it easy, obviously, in the, if you're in the water to get in and out of here. As we get back here, this walk-through step, this is a Kingfisher design that uh, works extremely well, as you can see. You can see the extra room that we have back here on this transom. So there actually is space back there. If you need to go net a fish, etc., you're gonna have lots of uh, space to be able to uh, maneuver back there. We've added uh, electric uh, steering to this boat as well. So basically this has got the Optimus EPS steering system. We've uh, done videos on just the steering system. So you can refer to that. At the end of the day, what this means to you is that this is the very best steering system that you can possibly put on this boat. So to adapt it to an autopilot, the ease of maneuverability, the steering ratios that are adjustable, etc. Again, refer to the other videos for that. This is the best steering system that you're going to get. This also has an upgraded uh, fish, uh, fish box, so this is actually a live well. So what this works good for is people on the coast is a great place to keep your crab. You can keep fresh water circulating there if you want to keep them alive. Kingfisher's done a nice touch here. You can put two knives in here. You can put your pliers here. So you got that gear, very easy access to it. You got more storage here. Access to your batteries, bilge pumps, etc., is very nice, very clean. You can see how clean the wiring and everything is. And as far as your pumps and easy access to your fuel filter, any of that stuff is really wide open and easy to get at. As far as uh, this is also what's called the easy clean floor. So that's an option. We've showed this in many videos as well. What this means to you is that you can have all kinds of fish debris on here. You hose it down. It's going to run over the sides. It's going to, there's channels in here that's going to accumulate. And basically that debris is going to end up under these plates. These plates are removable, but at the end of the day, those pumps are going to take care of that debris. So you've got macerator pumps that are going to pump out most components. You've got fish boxes here on each side as well. So you got one on each side. So you got lots of fish capacity storage. Kingfisher's uh, traditional uh, trays on the sides with the welded rolled over edges, which are very nice. They're extremely strong. If you rub your legs against them, everything is smooth here. This has got the side bolster pads, which is part of the Aurora package. So that's an option that's been added here. Uh, new for 2024 as well is going to be this extended roof is now standard. So that used to be an option. Bottom line is nobody was ordering the boat without it, so it's now standard. So you've got a grab 
handle here. This has got an aft deck light, which I believe is also part of the Aurora package. You can see that you've got lots of room here at the helm. You can add electronics. You got two cup holders. You just got more storage space under here. You can see the controls for the kicker where we've got them mounted there out of the way. This does come with a sloper curtain. You can see that we've got snaps here and along here to go here. So that sloper curtain can be added to this. So when the boat's in storage or whether you're trailing it or whatever, you got everything in here that's gonna be protected. As for this door, you can see that it's secured here. You just got a latch to release it. As far as the durability, basically that is a very strong door that's not gonna rattle. Uh, you've got more storage here. You got three cup holders. You got more storage underneath them. You got more grab handles on both sides here. And this makes it quite easy. You've also got a grab handle here. So if you want to get up to reach your rods, etc., this is very easily done by stepping on the side storage trays. As we enter the cabin, I believe that the clearance in here is six foot two. I'm not a very good example because I'm just a short dude, but uh, anyways, lots of headroom for most people. You can see that we've got, uh, there's a stainless rail up here. What this holds is a privacy curtain. And uh, that privacy curtain is there because this does have an optional full flush head. So this is a real toilet with a holding tank. And uh, you can see where it tucks away. You've still got storage beside it. You've still got a couple of cup holders there. You've got storage behind it. On the opposite side is just all storage. And these are huge storage compartments. You got access behind the seat box as well, where you can actually reach your items back here. So there's a lot of goods you can put in there. This also has the optional bed. So basically this comes off on both uh, on both sides and uh, that forms a uh, bed. And the, the way that that works is you've got rails that are right here. They just go in these slots. These cushions come ahead. There's another cushion underneath the bow. And basically this becomes a pretty close to a double bed. Uh, these are larger boxes because of the extra height. We've put uh, kick, uh, steps here so it just makes it way more comfortable when you're traveling a longer distance uh looking at the cabin as well you can see that we've got uh overhead uh, stainless grab handles here you've got sliding windows with screens in them we've got storage underneath both the driver and passenger seats here this has got the optional Rivermaster seats. So these are awesome with the armrests that are adjustable. This also has the shockwave bases. The shockwaves are your most premium uh, system that you're gonna have for a suspension seat. The two big advantages with them is that they're adjustable with air pressure so you can accommodate your weight and they just simply never make any noise and it theoretically should last a lifetime. Looking at the driver's helm, this is, uh, we also have what's called digital throttle and shift. So what that means is that there's no cables connecting to your main engine. It's all fly by wire. So that's your premium system as well. You can see there's a, a cup holder here. This is the uh, gauge for the EPS steering system. This is the Mercury vessel view gauge. And then you've got all this real estate here to pick the electronics, VHF radio, whatever else you may want to add to this. There's lots of space, whether it's adding a stereo, whether you just got lots of real estate here. So that's a very nice feature. The other thing is, is that you've got storage up here. You've got storage along in the sides here. This also has what's called the cold weather interior. So you can see everything is finished. So you've basically got soft material that uh, makes it for a, a quieter boat and a more comfortable interior. You've got space on the dash here. This lip that's left here holds all your goods. So that's very handy. As far as two more cup holders here on the passenger side, you got a grab handle. There's even again, little things. This lip right here, you'd be surprised what small items you can throw along there. You can see the storage tray here. So really they've given a lot of thought to give you lots of storage options. As far as our closed bow is concerned, this is gonna fit smaller people if one didn't wanna sleep there. As far as adults, that's what that rear bed would accommodate better. There is also more storage space under here. 
And of course, this is just an area for all your dry storage and it's large. There's, that'll gobble up a lot of items and that they're out of your way, which is, I think, key when you're in a, in a boat on a longer trip. You can see the uh, deck from here through the windshields. You can see the tie-off heavy-duty plates. You can see those hoss rings that we talked about. Dual windshield wipers. We've got interior lights. Give you a quick look at the roof here. You can see this has got the optional roof cargo rails. So these rails are fully adjustable fore and aft. Another key feature that Kingfisher does is the welded cargo tie down points. So the nice part about this is that whatever you put up here, whether it's a tender, whether it's paddle boards, kayaks, whatever you may choose to put up here, instead of just relying on the rail to strap to, you can actually tie down to a welded anchored support here, which is just way more durable. So you've got just a ton of room here. Like literally you could put a 12 foot inflatable up here if you wanted to. So lots of real estate on top of the roof for all kinds of additional storage. Another thing I want to point out that Kingfisher does that's a little bit unique compared to some builders is their drip rail. So basically, if you look, you'll notice that this drip trail rail runs the entire length of the cab and it slopes so that the low point is right here. You can see we've got three holes right here. That water is going to drain down out here on the gunnel and overboard. So if you've got your windows open, et cetera, you're not having water run off the cab and inside the boat. You can also see the external net holder, which works awesome. You just stick the handle of the net there. You put the loop of the net right here, and that keeps your net out of the way and real quick, easy access to it. We usually like to close with talking about who a particular boat is for and who it isn't for. In the case of the 26, uh, 25 CXP, Basically, you know, there's a few things to always consider as with any boat. You know, what are you towing it with? Where are you storing it? And what water are you using it in? The boat's obviously designed for both big fresh water and the ocean. Um, it's going to really handle really good water. There's never a limitation to how big of a boat you want, depending on how far offshore you're going. So again, that's why we call it a CXP. It's basically designed for the intercoastal way. It's designed for big water with a limitation. Uh, the other things to consider with this boat are gonna be, you know, the drop bow versus the closed bow versus the forward sloping windshield versus the aft sloping windshield. That's where you're probably best to just uh, consult with our team and talk about your needs, what your past experience is, and uh, what waters you plan to frequent where we can uh, help you make sure you're making the right decision on the right style of haul for your purposes. As always, uh, hopefully this video has helped you understand the uh, Kingfisher 2625 CXP a little bit better. And as always, uh, please subscribe to our channel and uh, watch for more videos like this.